Guys, this is part two. On this part, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to turn the lights off and then I'm going to play through this uh, part number two because if I turn the lights off, then you won't have all this glare because my TV panel has this glass glare, which I freaking hate. Remind me to buy a matte finish TV next time. So here we go. We're going to do it at 30 frames per second on 4K native for about five minutes. Then I'm going to switch it back to uh, 60 frames per second just to see the, uh, the difference. The one main difference I noticed was when I switch back to 30 frames per second, when I lock it on 30, I get much more enhanced rich textures. When I turn it back to 60, then I lose some of those textures because remember, this is running on native 4K resolution. All right, let's go ahead and let's do this. Dynamic light uh, on this game, it's truly phenomenal. Wow, just wow, man. Everything is sharp and smooth. Look at his watch, even his watch. Let me zoom in a little bit. Look, even his watch, it's like, wow. I'm just trying to show you guys just the detail. Even that seat textures on that seat pops up truly. Now let's switch back to, hold on. Uh, what am I doing? I don't want to save it. No. Let me go ahead and uh, switch back to 60 frames per second. You see, I'm going to lose some of the textures now. Look. Yep. You see, you see, I lost some of the textures because I just went to the 60 frames per second. So now let me go back to uh, 30. Switch you back to 30. So for a game like this, you want to keep it at 30 because you want to enjoy the, uh, the quality of enhanced graphics. For a game like Call of Duty, you can keep it at like higher frame rate because when you're playing multiplayer, you want that higher frame rate. Okay, so keep it at 30. You see, now the textures will pop out. Oh yeah, clearly I can see it on his watch and on the dashboard. Because you have to, guys, you have to keep in mind, they're rendering this in native 4K. So at 30 frames per second, you'll see more richer textures at uh, that kind of render. Look at the dynamic light, man. Look at that. Right here. It looks amazing. Look at the light right here, man. Wow. 
Look at that asphalt and how detailed the asphalt is and that blood splat uh, splatters. Look at that. Oh no! No! I have died because I was looking at the asphalt. Remember, I'm trying to show you just uh, the detail of the game. It's not a walkthrough, it's me showing you the detail. This truly looks fantastic. Whoa! Look at that fire. Now this is 30 frames per second. Now if I switch it back, if I switch it back to 60, obviously, I'm gonna lose some of that detail. Right here, I'm gonna lose some of that detail. But the fire is going to be faster. Oh, again. Again. All right, let's switch it back to 60 frames per second. I mean 30 frames. Let's switch it back to 30. Display. Leave it at 30. There we go. You see, much better textures. This looks amazing, man. Look at that smoke. Look at that. Fantastic. Dynamic lights in this game and shadow uh, just looks unbelievable. Oh my god, again I have died? Jesus, Jesus, Lord. Oh, through the alley, alright. Especially here, look at the uh, the terrain. Looks great. Well, first thing you're gonna notice when you play this on your 4K is dynamic lights, shadows, and textures. Especially if you have HDR. For those of you who have HDR, you're truly going to enjoy this game. Well, there it is, guys. This is the uh, end of the part two, and it's a very emotional part. Oh, no. Sarah. Move your hands, baby. I know, baby, I know. It's okay, I know. 
のでしょうか。